During the last half of September, the Luftwaffe reappeared tentatively after a long lull and promptly bore the brunt of fighter attacks. Gun sight aiming point cameras reveal how surely fighter guns found Nazi planes as well as Nazi transport. Me 163, Nazi jet propelled fighter. Inside aiming point cameras record German jet-propelled aircraft in combat. The ME-262 is a turbojet plane whose operation resembles a rocket. It uses the turbine only to operate the air compressor to supply oxygen to the engine. Propulsion is provided by expansion of gases in the combustion chamber, as in a rocket jet. The ME-262 is a single-seat fighter bomber with two turbojet units underslung and projecting beyond leading and trailing edges. Four 30-millimeter guns are grouped in the nose of the fuselage. Length about 35 feet, span about 41. Pointed nose, very slender at the rear. It has a single fin and rudder of large area. The tail plane is set high on the fuselage. Maximum speed between 10 and 30,000 feet, about 500 miles an hour. Requires a large turning circle. Can be outturned by American and British fighters. The ME-163 is a rocket jet plane, carries its own oxygen supply, therefore is not hampered by thinning atmosphere and high altitudes. Fuselage, melon seed in shape. Sharply swept back wings give the plane the appearance of a boomerang or flying wing. Gunside aiming point cameras show some of the violent treatment 8th Air Force fighter pilots gave German ground targets in November. when the fighters escorted heavies deep into Germany, the Luftwaffe put up one of its rare defenses in force, lost 208 planes. Here are some of the reasons.
fighters continue to overrun the Luftwaffe. Gunsight aiming point cameras parade this destruction of Nazi planes and equipment whenever and wherever they appear. Side aiming point cameras show versatility of our fighter tactics. Getting them right after takeoff is the kind pilots dream about. A Focke Wolf 190 is closed to good range. This ME 109 is a piece of cake. RAF talk for a setup. Should never miss this kind. Another ME-109 is speared by good shooting in a 15-degree deflection shot. A focke Wolf 190 tries evasive action, but things get too hot for this Nazi. His bailout seems premature, but whatever his reason, these pictures give our pilot a clear credit for victory. A slow roll doesn't keep this focke Wolf 190 from being hit. Our pilot does a good job staying with him and gets him in the belly tank. Good shooting from above and behind. High deflection is tough, but it pays off. Bombed enemy positions to cover the crossing. Installations, pounding whatever was necessary to protect the bridgehead. Here at Chalk, anti-aircraft guns were knocked out and a refinery and oil storage tanks were fired. Attacks were made on Jap supply lines to harry enemy communications and prevent reinforcement. Artillery emplacement in buildings were not overlooked, and pagodas housing Jap headquarters, stores and troop emplacements received a thorough going over. By the end of the month, allied operations like these had enabled British ground troops to occupy Miktila, 
And as the drive went forward under constant air patrol, it was clear that incomparable British-American air-ground coordination would push the Jap out of Burma.